morning everyone this is part two of surrendering to god everyone this video is covered in the blood father god we add a blessing to the reading of your word father in jesus name please like and subscribe everyone if you like the contents to the video i appreciate that god will bless you tremendously i also leave a link of my blog in every video um you all you will be blessed tremendously everybody so if you like the content please don't forget to like and subscribe hit that button everybody um god is in the blessing business uh god wants our fresh flesh to be crucified in him okay to live is christ to die is gain so we gain so much when we live with god when we live for god we gain so much all right he is not the author of uh confusion but he's the author and finisher of our faith everyone all right so um i pray some we brother some father god we just thank you right now father that someone will be changed their lives will be healed sealed and delivered father from your blessings father for your grace father add it into their lives oh god remove stony hearts give us hearts of flesh father remove all wickedness hatred evil bitterness clamor evil speaking uh, put it away from us, O oh God. Contention, covetousness, lasciviousness. Father God, remove every Jezebel spirit, every Leviathan spirit. Put a hook in his jaw. In the name of Jesus, Father God, every spirit of Baal idolatry. Father God, we bind it in the name of Jesus, Father God. To him much is given, much is required. Use us mightily in your kingdom, in Jesus' name. Everyone, yes, this is part two of surrendering. It benefits us when we surrender everything to God because we can't save ourselves. Okay, God is our Savior. The Father sent His Son to give up His life on that cross. He shed His blood, nails in His feet, nails in His hands. He was tortured on that cross so we may live. All right? And even though He had a gruesome crucifixion, blessings come from out of it. Because what the devil meant for evil, the Lord meant it for our good. Just as you see um, the blessings that came upon Joseph's life. All those evil things that tried to uh, come against Joseph. He was thrown in jail. He was lied on. He was sold into slavery. Joseph was still used as a blessing. And that's what God will do for you in your life. Things come up against you. Evil lurk around you. But God will still use you and favor you so you are blessed and highly favored when you believe in God you are overcome more than conquerors all right because he already paid it all for us excuse me so when we will surrender everything give him that everything the, the, the doubt in your heart give it over to him our father God let us not be a doubting Thomas of God Lord Jesus reveal your truth to those who don't believe let us keep seeking your face continually, oh God, in Jesus' name. He gives help. He gives help for us all. Salvation is for the Jew, the Gentile, the young, the old, the rich, and poor. There's no respect of persons. What God can do, everyone. God is here for everybody. He's here for us. He wants to bless us. He loves us so much. He just pours out his blessings, his gifts, his loves, his provision. He's an awesome God. He says in Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. See, he loves us so much that he gave up himself, his life for us. See, that's how much the Lord loves us. Tremendously. So, um, when we don't think we deserve something, God will bless us anyhow through his mercy and his grace. Because he walked the earth in the flesh so that he will feel what we feel. The Father sent his Son to be human and spirit. God had to come to earth to walk the earth in the flesh to understand how we feel. To understand how we feel oppressed. How we feel persecuted. How we feel lied on cheated on Judas the spirit of Judas was around him see he had to come to earth so that he can feel the things we felt so he could see our pain so he could feel our pain 
See, that's why he took it on for us. The Father sent the Son of God to take on everything that you feel. God felt happy. He felt the pain that we felt. He felt, he felt the struggle. When the enemy tried to take him up on the mountaintop. And try to convince them to eat the bread. I turn the bread, bread, the rocks into bread. See, God was attempted by the enemy, just like we are. That's why He has compassion on us. But He says we have to turn from our evil ways. We can't stay in it. We can't stay in it because sin is death to God. God says, "Come out from among them." He called us to be separate from the world. He said the world knew him not. He says submit, James 4, 7. There's so many good things in the book of James. James 4, 7. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So when we turn from our wicked things, the devil will flee from you. He says speak to the mountain and it must move. All right? So... When you believe God and you receive in His promises, we have to wait on Him, though. See, we can't, we can't be impatient. God, remove every impatient spirit from us in the name of Jesus. Let us learn to wait on you. He says when you wait upon Him, it's like mounting up on wings like eagles. See, the eagles, the wind pushes the eagles high above the storm. So God pushes your blessings. See, the angels are ascending and des descending, just like Jacob's ladder. I keep talking about this a lot. The angels are ascending and descending. The God's plans, they're going all over the earth right now. They're ministering the plans of God, handing out gifts of God, pleasures of God, handing out peacefulness of God, handing out fruitfulness. All right, he says to be fruitful and multiply. Jeremiah 10, 23. Lord, I know that the people's lives are not their own. It is not for them to direct their steps. See, our, our steps got to be directed by the Lord. We do not direct our own steps. Our steps must be directed by God. Because he's the author and finisher. All right? Our steps are ordered by the Lord. Matthew 6. Okay, where did it go? Matthew 7, 21. Now everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. See, and that's unfortunate that everyone will not go to God's kingdom. Because everyone will not turn from wicked ways and evil. And won't believe. But we want for um, folks to know that. God is an awesome God. There is a God in heaven. There is a creator in heaven. There is a Lord of Lords and a King of Kings and he's mighty. He wants to bless you, but he wants you to seek him. He wants you to believe in him because he's a merciful God. Uh, some may think, well, I did this or I did that. God does not care what you did. He will still bless you. All right, he bless you in spite of you, in spite of yourself, because he's merciful. That's his grace and mercy. I mean, he does care what you do. Okay, let me clear that up. He does clear care what you do, but God says, "Come to him." All right, for forgiveness, you have to surrender your heart, heart your heart and hearts to him. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. God will give you rest in your life. Some of you all have been so stressed. Some of us have been stressed, have been wanting to give up on some things, tired of the warfare, tired of the struggle, been burdensome. But God say, surrender and I will take it. Let me do, deal with it. God say, let him handle it. God will handle your bullies. God will handle your worries. The things you're worrying over, stressing over money, stressing over how to pay a bill, stressing over this or that, whatever it may be. God say, bring your burdens to me. 
Lay them down at my feet. Let us seek him. Let us keep seeking him. Thy face shall we see. Matthew 26, 39. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but your will be done. See, the Lord was grieving for us. He was grieving for us down here on this land when he was separated from the Father when he was crucified on that cross because God had to separate it from his son for a minute so that he could feel what we was feeling. All right, everybody? So that was anguish to God. Now, you were feeling the sins of somebody. That's a lot of heaviness going on. But when he ascended to the Father, he received glory. The glory. See, the Father in heaven give us that rest. He gave it to the Son of God. He gave it to the, his firstborn. He gives it to us. He gives us that rest in our hearts. He said, take hold in our rest. You know, I was telling about the story of some of you all in here. In one of my videos, how I came up against some things when I had to, um, an event happened in my life, okay? And uh, certain matters had to be taken place that were important. And, and there were, um, you know, people, uh, God showed me um, drug dealers, bullies in the spirit that was bullying me. I kept having these visions of drug dealers bullying me. So I was, Lord, what is going on? One was, and it was always in a stadium, seemed like they were wanted me to get out my seat and bully me and and I was like what what is going on then in the in, in the natural it happened where I was threatened and cursed out and you know but God was showing me that he had me because I was pushed by an angel in the in the spirit in my vision an angel had pushed me because I was being polite to the bully <laughs> And God had pushed me. It was like, let me handle this. <laughs> and whatever he did to that bully, that drug dealer in the spirit, I'm telling you, he was knocked out sleep after I saw him again in the vision. And then I was on the wind. No one did, but he was laid out. But the, the, the situation did not escalate physically in the natural. God already was trying to show me that I was coming up against some things, but he had me, okay? See, his, his protection... It's so much testimonies I can give about the protection of God. Well, you know, I went to visit a family member, my mom, and God had put me up in a tree and uh, told me that uh, I, I, I heard the wrath and rustling, like a roaring on the ground. And lo and behold, the next day I went to, to visit a, my mom, family member, and they had, had, had uh, um, annihilated five people. In her, in her block. So God had gave me a vision before, a day before that to say that I was put up in a tree to safety. Okay, just like Zacchaeus was up in that tree, everybody. God will place his safety around you that nothing shall harm you. Alright, when you, when, when you belong to him. Okay, so it's, it's very benefiting for us to, to want to get to know him. Because he is your protection. God will protect you. His angels will protect you when you in harm's way. Okay? First and foremost, don't get that twisted. God will protect you. Alright? Um, he won't let evil and harm come up against you. He will protect you when you belong to Him. Okay? In car accidents, He will protect you. Alright? So, Father God, we ask for your protection right now against um, evil things and tensions. Alright? Father God, evil, sinister plans, violence, Father God, let your angels go out, Father. Remove every plan of the evil enemy, the sneaky plans to devour, to seek our hurt or demise, Father. Service it by your fire, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord says that in Psalms 9:10, those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. God has never forsaken us. He has never left us. All right? So we must know to seek him, to seek him in our hearts, in our minds, in our lives. He is so awesome. He give you beauty for ashes, everyone. 
okay? He, he makes your name great. People are receiving visions and dreams of, of God blessing them. Uh, God giving them great things. Okay, it's not that we deserve it, but it's for his, his grace and his mercy. He's a merciful God. He knows what we feel. He felt it in the flesh. He walked the earth in the flesh in his ministry. Okay, for three years. And he knows what we feel. So God, that's when his mercy and his glory comes to play. Because God knows if you say it. He knows what that feeling is. He knows if you're happy. He knows if you're weak. He knows if you're burdened. He knows if you're having laden. He says in Psalms 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So the things that you see, you will see no more. The earthly kingdoms will be passed away. Trouble don't last always. When you're having a bad day, you think of that. Trouble do not last always. It says, be still and know that I am God. He's God. He knows what you stand in need of. He will bless you tremendously, but we must wait on him. Father God, I ask you right now to help us and encourage us to wait on you. To give us the patience, Father. To not just jump out there into unrighteous things, into foolish things, Father. Into righteous living, but to wait on you, O oh Father. He say, when you wait on him, you mount up on wings like eagle. You shall walk and not be weary. You shall run and not faint. When we wait on him. See, we've reaped the rewards, everybody. We want to reap the good things, the wheat of the harvest, not the bad things, not the tares. We want to reap the good things. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, everyone. Psalms 50, 15. And call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and will honor me. When we call on the precious name of Jesus, he's just to forgive us and deliver us. So we honor you, Father, this day, knowing that you're the author of peace, O oh God. We give you all the glory, honor, power, and praise. In Romans 12, 1, guess what God said? He says, therefore I urge you. He's urging us, everybody. Wonderful thing. Brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer you bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, this is your true and proper worship. When we worship him, see the Lord was giving me uh, yesterday, he said worship. He said praise, put praise in your heart. So I really have been playing songs around me, singing songs around me. See, when you put praise in your heart, that's blessings. Music makes the heart rejoice in God. He wants us to rejoice in him, everyone. He says, uh, do not, Romans 12, 2, do not be conformed to the pattern in this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is that is good, pleasing, and perfect will. His perfect will for us is to not be having our hearts in the world, but have our mind, our hearts, spiritual things. Be, excuse me, because he's a supernatural God. See, the healings are spiritual. Deliverance is spiritual. This comes from God, who is spirit. So he says, be blessed in the spiritual things. All right? See, he knows that your heart is going to be tested. That he said, but we are overcomers. He gives us his love and joy, perfect will to receive his glory. So that we can make a joyful sound and have a joyful heart. All right? Um, he loves when we praise him with sounds of music and grace and joy. Not the evil music and evil plans. Okay, that's abominable to God. But God loves it when we praise him, when we magnify him, when we worship him, and when we meditate on his word. All right? It gives him, ple it's pleasing to him. It, it, it cuts the devil plans off in prayer, being in prayer each and every day. And one is, um, um, if you are somebody who is not studying your word or praying like you should, please, I ask you, Father God, come into their hearts to be more on fire for you. In Jesus' name. I hope these videos are blessing you all. Please like and subscribe um, in the name of Jesus. Father God, let this word go out. We want the word to go out. 
all right? God's angels is the Sunday descending. I want you all to be blessed in Jesus' name. So, Father God, just help us, Father, be better, be pleasing in your sight in Jesus' name. Praise God from all whom blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Let the church say amen, amen, and amen. Thank your Father. Call somebody God loves them. Be blessed you all. Bye-bye.